Dems lose it as session slashes McKay pension into pieces by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Democrats are lashing out at Attorney General Jeff Sessions uh, going after McCabe's fat pension. After being fired by the AG just before his 50th birthday, McCabe was stripped of an early retirement option that could have given him $60,000 per year in benefits immediately. Those benefits will now be delayed until he's at least 57 years old and will cost him a few hundred thousand dollars. From the Washington Examiner, Attorney General Jeff Sessions' decision to fire former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, which will likely reduce his pension benefits, has Democratic lawmakers and key government employee unions warning that Republicans are coming after federal workers. Sessions fired McCabe just before the FBI veteran's 50th birthday, stripping him of an early retirement option that by some estimates would give him about 60 grand per year and benefits immediately. Those will now be delayed until he is at least 57 years old at a cost of a few hundred thousand dollars to McCabe. For Democrats, the message was clear. The Trump administration is going to war against federal workers and Republicans are cheering him on. Uh, the timing of President Trump's decision to fire former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe raises serious concerns, and his repeated criticism of the hardworking men and women of the FBI weaken our nation's justice system. House Minority Leader, uh, Leader Steny uh, Hoyer, a Democrat from Maryland, told the uh, Washington Examiner, Hoyer said the rationale for firing McCabe needs to be explained immediately to Congress, including why he was fired the day before his government pension was set to begin. Uh, because it took D Jeff Sessions uh, uh, a long time to get off his rear end to uh, actually do something about it. And I know that Sessions was hesitating till the last minute because Sessions wasn't going to go after him. Uh-huh. So that's who you could blame at the last minute, because had it been uh, Trump's per, uh, people, uh, this would have been done uh, uh, like within the same day. So moving right, uh, right on. Uh, so on the House floor, uh, Monday, Representative Steve Cohen, uh, another Democrat, said McCabe's ouster is an uh, explicit message to all other federal workers who might still be examining Trump's alleged ties to Russia. Yeah, right, give it a rest. It was a shot across the bow at other government officials who were doing their jobs, Cohen said. Not really. And if they don't agree with the Mueller investigation continuing or if they see concerns about the U.S. president and his campaign and some involvement with Russia, keep dreaming or obstruction of justice or violations of emoluments clauses that they too risk their jobs and risk their pensions and risk their financial security, said. Uh, the National Federation of Federal Employees similarly warned that the rare move from Sessions, yeah, the rare move from Sessions was a purely punitive action? No, I don't think so, no. He was fighting, uh, Sessions wasn't going to fire him. The last minute he fired him. No, it wasn't purely pu punitive. No, no, because uh, when I read the uh, stories, they said uh, Je uh, Jeff Sessions failed again. So what does that tell you? And then he finally, I don't know who pressured him, uh, either uh, do it or, you know, resign. One or the other, step down. Um, so that's why I think Sessions was pushed, actually, he, he had no choice. Sessions wasn't going to do anything to him. Anyway, so uh, it was a purely punitive action against McCabe in a form of corruption on the part of the Republicans that need to be stopped. No, it's the Democrats who need to be stopped and your corruption that needs to be stopped. Uh, the Democrats there. Regardless of Mr. McCabe's guilt or innocence, the system was manipulated at some level to intentionally inject pain on career employees, NFFE Executive Director Stephen uh, Lenkart told the Washington Examiner. Uh, he's another Democrat, so I wouldn't expect anything less than what he stated. Uh, this is why uh, legitimate due process is so important to the career civil service. Yeah, 
if they were going after uh, their people, uh, you know they changed their tune, right? Real fast. He said due process is not a personal right of employees, but rather a systematic protection against corruption and political exploitation. Really? The IG report is going to come out very soon, and uh, this started prior to Trump being uh, inaugurated, so I don't know what this guy is talking about. Lenkar argued further that the Republicans have been pushing for years to eliminate civil service protections and want to threaten apolitical career employees. It's a trend uh, others have noticed building for a while now. Jerry Connolly, uh, another Democrat who represents a district in Northern Virginia that's home to thousands of federal workers, said that while Trump seems to have encouraged Sessions' his move, Republicans have been looking to chip away at the rights of federal workers for years. Uh, no, it's at the top. It's the head honchos. In the first few days of 2017, House Republicans revived the so-called Holman Rule, which allows lawmakers to single out specific federal workers in a spending bill and cut their salaries down to a dollar. Uh, that sent a shiver down a lot of spines, Connolly said. Uh, last, uh, late last year, House Republicans voted to extend the normal probationary period for uh, new federal uh, workers from one year to two years. The change would uh, let agencies more easily hire or fire workers uh, early uh, in their careers. He, he's corrupt, so he should retire with a pension? No, it's for corrupt individuals. When you have proof they're corrupt, they don't deserve a thing. Conley said these events show that Sessions' firing of McCabe is just one link in the chain for Republicans. You have to look at this not as an isolated, mean-spirited act by the president and Jeff Sessions, but uh, something in the context of something more alarming, Connolly said. Yeah, it, it is alarming because you are losing control. So uh, he said McCabe's firing shows that Republicans know what outcomes they want and are willing to put real pressure on federal workers to deliver them those outcomes. Again, the opposite, twisting words. What's Mueller trying to do? You see, they always play dirty. Republicans are essentially telling federal workers we're willing to use pensions and payment as a way of getting what we want out of you. When it comes to which federal workers are more at risk, one Democratic aide said it seems most likely that political appointees are in more danger than career officials. Since the 19th century, due process of reforms designed to insulate and uh, protect the federal uh, civil service from exactly the kind of petty and vindictive actions that occurred last week, most federal workers are not likely to experience what McCabe experienced with his pension. This aide uh, wrote to the Washington Examiner. That being said, Congress must work to ensure that political appointees and even the president himself do not punish federal workers for doing their jobs or roll back civil service protections. Uh, look, when they're corrupt, uh, you got to do what you got to do. You can't be corrupt and also get money for it. No, and still stay on the job and retire with full benefits. That's just not happening. Over the weekend, uh, uh, um, but when it comes uh, down to what Democrats can do about it, the consensus seems to be right it out. Okay, over the weekend, uh, Michael Bromwich, former Inspector General for the Department of Justice under President Bill Clinton said, there's not much that uh, can be done but to shudder in the knowledge that they could be next. Connolly said the problem is clearly political in nature and that the GOP agrees uh, with the Trump administration's apparent effort to make uh, life tougher for federal workers. Total lie. The Republicans have decided they are going to play the role of enablers because they've struck a deal, in a sense, with the devil. Again, you're re confusing the Republicans with the Democrats. The Democrats made deals with the devil because they can get some of their legislation through, he said. 
that's dangerous to the future of the republic. As if they care, they try to break down the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the uh, uh, amendments. Uh, they try to dismantle everything, the monuments, everything. And they're talking about the future of the republic. They want to destroy the republic. They have the, their, their, their goons out there destroying monuments and everything. And they're talking about the republic. And that's not a, not a hyperbole. No, that you you all of you Democrats are basically uh, most of them. You can't say all, but I would say all. But uh, they're hypocrites. Hypocrites. Connolly also noted that this political problem for Democrats and their constituents probably had a political solution. Has a political solution? The answer to all of that is we've. Uh, got to win the midterms, he said. Yeah, with your corrupt election uh, uh, voting machines and all. Yeah, that's the thing. And whatever happened to the Pennsylvania vote where they found the uh, machines uh, miscalibrated, right? Uh, if people wanted to uh, vote for Conyers or whatever his name was, whatever the name was. And uh, the, the, the voting machine turned the, turned the vote over to the other guy. I mean, excuse me? Excuse me? Why are we not hearing about this investigation going on? A lot of voter fraud with the Dems. They would have lost everything. What happened in Alabama? Voter fraud. You're going to tell me. Uh, and now we don't even hear. Remember that they said if uh, Roy Moore uh, um, uh, loses that after the slander that they did to the guy... Uh, that you're not going to hear about the uh, the women anymore. Where are the women now in the news? They're not anymore. They got Alabama. Do you see what I'm saying? These people are corrupt to the core. They fight dirty. They fight dirty. I mean, it is just amazing how they can look at themselves in the mirror by fighting dirty so much. I mean, all right, you understand in politics there's a little bit of, you know, uh, whatever. Um, so to say, but come on, enough is enough. Like they take it to the limit, like to outer space. I mean, the corruption is like, you, you, you're at a loss for words. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.